Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can adjust the limits, add the label names and grids to your matplotlib chart. So let's get started. First of all, I will just show you about how you can prepare your data from your existing file which you will usually find it in any normal scenario doing the data analysis. So for that, let's go ahead and import couple of libraries matplotlib.py.splt and I will just say matplotlib inline. So we are good here. Now let's go ahead and uh, get the file. So here I have brought the file for you. What I am using is the one which we have already used in several of the videos in the previous examples just to maintain the consistency and uh, we are basically reading an excel file with the help of pandas function and this is the path and this is basically indicating zero is indicating the first sheet and we are saving this sheet which is order information is into orders so let's go ahead and execute that now it's been executed um, let's see the info related to this so here we have uh, the information about this is a row ID, order ID, order date, all of those information. So what we are really interested in is creating a pivot kind of an structure for plotting the trend data. So what we want to get is sales and one dimension, maybe either ship mode or region or product category, whatever you know is one thing. And then basically the year from the order date so let's create first of all the year from the order date so what we need to do in that case is uh, we need to write this order here and then simply write orders and name of the column which is order date dot tt dot year well that's all you need to do and now if i show you orders dot columns you will have the year as one of the column right so now we have created the year what we need to do is uh, create a pivot table so let's create a sales pivot and uh, we need pd dot pivot underscore table first of all specify the data set name then the numeric column sales and uh, then the index to get the rows so index is basically your uh, year it was in small and then in columns you will get let's say ship mode all right so here we are with all of this information and finally you need to specify aggregate function if i press shift tab tab you will see that data values index columns that's what i have in here and aggregate function is by default mean so i'll not go ahead and specify it i'll just simply use it and let's press execute that okay so we are good over here and now let's see our pivot so here we are with our pivot now remember this that uh, you need to you need to have a certain sort of structure to plot the data set sometimes you may not get the expected output because you have not aggregated the data properly so you can either use pivot table or group by or something else you know to aggregate your data but i find it pivot table is most useful whenever i am dealing with this visualization information okay so i can simply write plt dot plot and simply pass on pivot that's it right I'll just execute that and here is my chart now that's the benefit I get it when I create a pivot table because now my chart is trending uh, chart has been created with the trending information but uh, it's still uh, not complete uh, first of all we the axis is missing the label is missing and let's say you want to use grid then grid is missing so first thing I want to tell you is Sometimes these are this inf this is just an information uh, that there are three lines at this particular position. So if we don't want to get that, which is not meaningful for us because chart is the most meaningful thing, 
what I can use is simply semicolon. That's a trick, guys. So if I execute that, those lines will be removed. Okay. So whenever you are also in a need of not having those lines, that's what you need to do. After that, uh, what we can do is uh, we need to first of all specify the access. So I will copy this. I hate writing a lot of commands. And I will just say x limit to specify x limit, though our x limit is properly specified. So, but I'll just go ahead and specify the lower limit 2009 to 2012. And what I will use is y lim, which is more meaningful because on the y axis, the value is starting from 1000, which is fine, but going up to somewhere near to the 6000, if you see 5706 in the uh, 2011. So what we can do is we can specify the minimum limit and maximize the upper limit. All right, let's execute that. Now you will see you get much better information because now you even have 6000. So you know it is somewhere around 5700 or 800. All right, once you have added this, now let's add the labels to get the proper information. So what I'll do is I'll just come here and say x label so label on the x axis and let's say uh, sales years and plt dot y label and we'll say sales by ship mode so here we are sales years and sales by ship mode now let's go ahead and uh, talk about the legends uh, so all of these three lines right now we don't know what it, what they are so let's see the so they are delivery truck express air and driver air so if I go down and here I just need to add label is equals to delivery truck and then express air and then regular air go ahead and execute that you will not see it because we need to add the legend all right so here we are with the legend information and uh, you can actually specify the position so you have the value from 0 to 10 so if i specify let's say 0 okay i need to specify the argument if i go and uh, into the parameters here we are 0, 1, 2, and this is the definition. And it's just that LOC is what I need to specify. Oh, there we are. Let's see. Uh, LOC is equals to 0. So now the issue is not coming. And if I specify 1, it has gone on the top. So you can basically go into that pressing shift, tap, tap, and go down there. Uh, to see from 0 to 10 what you need to do so center left center right so let's specify center right 7 so here we are so that's how you can basically add the legend and uh, and basically get it done and there are a couple of other things like uh, you can specify 7 or you can specify even say upper right so not only the value uh, from 0 to 10, if, if you are specifying in a simple English, it will be able to understand uh, what, where you really want that. Also, uh, there is a way that you can also specify the coordinates. So if I say 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5, you will see that it is just looking at the coordinates that I'm specifying so this is the x and this is a y so maybe we need to put a little bit inside so maybe i can say point 0.2 yeah now it is inside and then i can play around with that i can say point 0.5 to let's say point 0.8 and in that case of point 0.8 so 0 is starting here and probably going up till here 1 so point 0.8 is indicating that you want to be on top and if i specify point 0.2 comma point 0.2 it is somewhere down there so if you want a uh, pixel perfect uh, reporting or a pixel perfect legend 
and not just the upper left, upper right, center and things like that then you can specify the legends like this and get the your legend information as per your need so that's pretty much about it uh, it's it's the very real life example that i have shown you by taking the some real data and uh, probably will find it useful when you are doing your own analysis